Special thanks to Patreon supporter Faz FPS for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the E9A widget. The E9A is a twin turboprop used as a surveillance platform to ensure the Gulf of Mexico waters are clear of civilian boaters and aircraft during live missile launches and other hazardous military activities. The E9A provides support for air to air weapons, system evaluation, development, and operational testing at Tenel Air Force Base, Florida. A militarized version of the Bombardier Civilian 8 commuter aircraft, the E9 is a short to medium range turboprop that is frequently used in short haul regional airline operations and its civilian capacity. With a short takeoff and landing capability, the E9 is uniquely suited to its Air Force mission. Its capabilities are airborne ocean surveillance, uh, telemetry, recording, and relay. Uh, modified with the AN-APS-143V1 airborne sea surveillance radar to detect objects in the Gulf of Mexico, the aircraft can detect a person in a life raft up to 25 miles away in the water. It downlinks this uh, telemetry data to the range safety officer who determines the shoot area for live fire activity. The aircraft has a fixed antenna array that receives and records telemetry from test and drone vehicles flying over the Gulf of Mexico, and it has the capability to relay two airborne UFH, or sorry, UHF frequencies over the horizon to ground sites. So yeah, really interesting um, aircraft here. This is modified from a um, Dash 8, uh, which is a aircraft that's actually used in a civilian capacity, so kind of a small civilian transport type aircraft, and uh, was acquired by the U.S. Air Force and is used now as a um, very sp specific role of uh, basically being a kind of surveillance aircraft to make sure that nobody's going to be in harm's way for when the U.S. military does any exercises or tests. Um, from my knowledge, it seems like this aircraft only actually operates out of Tenel Air Force Base, and that's what it seems like um, the deal is. So kind of interesting there so very specific probably one of our more unique aircraft in the sense that most of you guys probably didn't even know about this aircraft and the fact that it existed I know that's how I was when I first uh, heard this request and was really surprised to actually find out you know how specialized and how unique this vehicle really is in the US military arsenal but overall really cool build and uh, a cool aircraft to add to um, your ever-growing fleets of aircraft um, just a kind of a cool surveillance, you know, type of aircraft. Uh, before we go and take a look at the aircraft, I want to go and give special links to a new Patreon supporter, Faz FPS, for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month. And in doing so, earn a vehicle request you're choosing. It really helps support the work I do with my channel and is obviously greatly appreciated. So definitely feel free to check it out. Again, link is always in my video descriptions. But with that, let's go ahead and kind of move into uh, taking a look here at the aircraft. Uh, we do have the landed and in-flight versions available for you guys in this tutorial. So um, we'll start off with the airborne version. So as you can see here, pretty much the main aircraft here, kind of a smaller aircraft, as it is a pretty small civilian um, aircraft in you know actual service. Uh, going ahead and taking a look at it, we have the uh, wings here. It's got the two turboprop engines here, the cockpits, um, obviously the doors here for uh, you know, entering and disembarking the, the air aircraft, all the windows. Down here we have the surveillance radar, which is mounted in kind of like a little um, bulge on the bottom here of the fuselage. And it's also got the other side here, which has this really weird kind of extension that comes down from it. Not 100% sure what that houses, but probably something to do with detection or some type of equipment like that. Um, as you work way back, we have the tail here. And, um, you know, pretty nice looking tail overall little red stripe here which is the tail flash for uh, Tenel Air Force Base and this right here would be a TD um, that uh, would actually represent that. I didn't have a T and a D and I felt kind of lazy so I just did two letters banners I already had made LA but uh, this would be TD if this was you know based on off an act the actual aircraft from um, Tenel Air Force Base. Uh, but overall pretty nice looking build. I think it came out really good. Going to make an awesome addition to any of your um, you know, bases and stuff like that, or if you're just looking for some kind of coastal patrol aircraft, this definitely could be it for you. Um, the landing gear version also uh, has the landing gear obviously extended downwards here in the front and the wheels that come down from the turboprop engines there uh, on the wings. Uh, so yeah, really nice aircraft. Going to be a pretty fun tutorial and pretty interesting build. Uh, very unique one to say the very least and 
with that, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our tutorial. Now, a few things I want to mention if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials is I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is we're building the entire centerline of the aircraft and then basically building out to the sides. This aircraft is, uh, for the most part, symmetrical. There is pretty much that one main distinction, which is the um, little kind of extension on the right side of the aircraft, and we'll talk about that once we get to that point. However, other than that, the aircraft is completely symmetrical, so whatever we do on one side will be done to the other, unless I specifically say otherwise. Um, so that's just kind of a way to speed up the tutorial and all that stuff, make it a little bit easier, and plus, if I'm doing the same thing on both sides, it's just easier just to show you guys how to do one, and, you know, you guys, uh, can obviously figure out the air side pretty easily. Um, also, if you do want to build the landed version, we will be adding a landing gear on to the in-flight model. So we're going to be building the aircraft as if it's in flight, and then it'll be up to you guys to basically add the landing gear on after that. Now, uh, to make sure that you build this correctly, if you do want to build the landing gear, you do want to make sure that you have two blocks of space between this first layer we're starting off with, which is layer number two, and basically your ground level. So you can see here we have two blocks full of space between the bottom here of, or basically this layer here, layer two, and the ground. Very important, if uh, it's one block off, it's obviously not going to sit right on the ground. Um, anyways, once we have that all cleared up, we can go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a polished black stone top slab. And then we're going to place down a long row of smooth quartz. That's going to go back and be in a total of 27. After those 27 blocks, we're going to place down two smooth quartz top slabs on the end here. After that's done, go ahead and go back up to the front. We want to go ahead and then place down a smooth quartz top slab. Come off the side of this one. Or uh, come off the side of this full block right here. And we're going to go ahead and place down an additional smooth quartz block back. We then want to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, and 4 smooth quartz ups and downstairs. And after that, we're going to take our smooth quartz blocks and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 uh, smooth quartz blocks back. We're going to place down two smooth quartz ups and downstairs, a smooth quartz top slab, and then an iron trapdoor on the end there. Now at this point right here, we start to see our differences in our sides. So over here on our left side, we're going to be going ahead and going to this fourth uh, quartz block here. And we're going to place down a iron trap door. Now at this point, I do recommend you just build the both sides all together. So you have basically your center line here built. Um, so that section there. And then we can go ahead and kind of easily expand out to both sides. Now over here on the left side, as I mentioned, we have an iron trap door that's going to be coming off this quartz stair. Going back from it, we're going to place down three dark oak trap doors. And then we're going to place down a row of iron trapdoors, which is going to be a total of 14. And then we're going to place down four dark oak wood trapdoors. And that's going to be on the left side and the left side only. Now for the right side here, we do have uh, basically the start here of our um, kind of extension here on the side of the aircraft, whatever you really want to call it. Uh, and this right here is going to start by going to this second quartz up sound stair here on the side. We're going to place down a quartz top slab, followed by a smooth quartz block after it. Now that right there is going to get us started here. And from this point here, we want to go ahead and then place down a, another smooth quartz block. And we're going to also place an iron trap door on the side. Now we're going to go ahead and use a debug stick. So we'll go ahead and use the command give at p debug stick. And this will give us access to a debug stick in which we can go ahead and select this using the selected open false and select that to open to true. So it does open the trap door and kind of puts up against the block like that. Now this is an ability you guys can have, um, if uh, I believe most versions if not all have it, uh, so definitely feel free to check that out. After that we're going to then place down a narrow direct wall, a smooth quartz block, and we're going to do the same thing here for debug stick. If you do not have access to the debug stick, I should also mention you can use virtual trapdoors in their place. Uh, we're going to go and do a narrow direct wall, there's a smooth quartz block, again the trapdoor again, a direct wall, smooth quartz block, iron trapdoor a direct wall, smooth quartz block, iron trap door, and again make sure we close that, smooth quartz block, or sorry direct wall, smooth quartz block, iron trap door, close the iron trap door, a direct wall, smooth quartz block, iron trap door, close it, a direct wall again, smooth quartz block, iron trap door, close it, a direct wall, smooth quartz block, iron trap door, close it, direct wall, smooth quartz block, iron trap door, and close it. And this is going to go all the way on until we get to basically this section right here. So we're going to do this one more time. A direct wall, then smooth quartz block. On the side of the smooth quartz block, we're going to place down an iron trap, iron trap door, 
and close up the debug stick. We're going to then place down another smooth quartz block and another smooth quartz top slab, like so, going back. And once we have that done right there, that's going to basically do it, what, or do what we need to do over here on the right side of the aircraft. So as you'll see here, we do have a difference in both sides. Again, here's a bit of an overview for it. Uh, definitely kind of throws you off a little bit, that's for sure, but once we kind of get everything built up for these first few layers, it's going to make a little bit more sense on, you know, this aircraft and how that's all positioned and all that stuff. But anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer two, and with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number three. And by layer three, I actually meant layer one. Um, so layer one here, we're going to be going ahead and going to the bottom of our fuselage here. We're going to count back one, two, three, four, and our fifth quartz full block back. We're going to place down a quartz top slab coming off that block. We're going to go then place down an item frame and a uh, kind of a snowball in the item frame like that for a light there on the front of the aircraft. We then want to skip one, two, three spaces. We're going to place down an end rod that goes down like that. Skip an airspace. Place a stone button, skip a space again, place down a polished black stone stair. Skip a space again, place down a stone button, followed by a row of one, two, three, and four black concrete blocks back, a polished black stone stair, and a polished black stone top side that go back like so. After that's all done there, we want to go ahead and then place down a polished black stone wall to the side here of that black concrete block there, two, or sorry, one black concrete block back, and then two polished black stone walls back after that. And that's going to be the same thing there on both sides, like so. And that right there is going to basically finish that bottom off. You're going to take what we did over here on, on the left side, or sorry, the right side, and flip it over here to the left side, and you'll have that pod there on the bottom complete. Now, one thing also for the pod, I'm not going to really consider it its own layer because it's pretty minimalistic and pretty simple. If you're putting this landed, you're probably not going to even see this, but we're going to need an item frame, a stone button, and a black stained glass pane. And this right here, we'll be going ahead and going to the bottom of the aircraft here. We're going to go to the center black concrete block. We're going to place down a stone button, an item frame, and a black stained glass pane in the item frame like that on the bottom there. Um, so a real simple little addition there, and you really only will be able to see that if the aircraft is actually in flight. Um, but anyways, once that's done, uh, that's pretty much the symmetricalness of this layer. And we're going to now move into the um, right side here. So the right side here, we're going to go under this smooth quartz block here that has the iron trap door in the front. We're going to place down a smooth quartz top slab underneath it. We're going to go ahead and then run our top slabs back. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 smooth quartz top slabs back. So in total, this should be a row of 21 uh, smooth quartz top slabs there on the bottom just to close that area off there. And with that all complete, that's going to wrap up what we have there for layer number uh, 1 for the build. And uh, again, here's an overview of what it should look like. Pretty much should be about the same thing in the side view of it. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. Layer three here, again, we're going to have some differences in the side, so do pay close attention into each side as we progress through this layer. Um, but first thing I want to go ahead and mention is uh, basically the start here. We're going to go and place down a polished black stone slab on top of this top slab, and then we're going to place down two quartz blocks back from it. We're going to then go out to the sides with two diorite walls, followed by one, two, and three smooth quartz blocks back along the side here, just like that. And we're going to stop right there at that point, and then we're going to go back to the tail here. We're going to place down a smooth quartz block that goes up from this quartz top slab like so, a second quartz block behind it, two quartz top slabs. Then onto the sides here, we're going to place down a quartz top slab coming off this first one here. And we're going to go then place down a quartz upside down stair followed by one, two, and three quartz full blocks going forward. And right there, we're going to go ahead and stop as well. Now, each side here, we're now going to go ahead and do separately as both sides are different uh, on the build. So I want to go ahead and make sure that we do each side uh, specifically. But basically, this front section here, these, these kind of like this three wide space here, is the same on both sides and the same thing with the back there. Anyways, over here on the side, we're going to go off these last two quartz blocks, and this can be on the left side of the build. We're going to place down two direct walls two quartz blocks, a black concrete block, a quartz block, black concrete, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, smooth quartz blocks back, a black concrete block, two smooth quartz blocks with tripwire hooks coming off those two blocks, a polished black stone wall, a diorite wall, and right there is going to make the left side. Now the right side here is going to be um, obviously a little different. Um, so for the right side here, we want to go ahead and get started by placing down a direct wall, which is going to come off this block here. 
and then we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three smooth quartz blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down iron trapdoors on these two smooth quartz blocks here, and then we're going to go ahead and close those with the debug stick. We then want to go ahead and place down a upside down smooth quartz stair above this wall, smooth quartz block, upside down stair, smooth quartz block, upside down stair, smooth quartz block, upside down stair, and kind of just have this reoccurring pattern going all the way down. So just like this, all the way down the side of the aircraft. And again, this is on the right side only. And then when we get to this point here, we're just gonna place down one, two, and three quartz blocks back, two iron trap doors on the side there, and close them using our debug stick. And that's really what you want there. Um, we're also gonna place down iron trap doors on the spaces between the stairs there. And we're gonna go ahead and close those iron trap doors as well for a debug stick, like that on the side. And that right there is going to pretty much do it for this layer. We'll go ahead and take a look at it from up above of what this looks like. And obviously make sure to take into account the differences in both sides as it is kind of important. Anyways, with that all done, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number uh, three. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer here, we have layer number four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a smooth quartz slab on top of this uh, quartz block here. And then go back from the slab, we're going to place down a quartz full block. To so both sides of the quartz full block, we're going to place down a diorite wall, two quartz blocks back, and then up to this side here, we're going to place down a diorite wall, followed by a second diorite wall back, and then an air smooth quartz block. Now, right here, we're going to go ahead and see a difference in both sides. So, again, pay close attention here as the two sides here are different. Now, on the left side, after this quartz block, I recommend you go ahead and build everything up to this point. Uh, one thing also to mention here is that there's going to be skeleton skulls on these walls at slight angles like this. And it's that same angle right there on that wall like that. So that should look like this here for the front. And we're going to go and basically build this whole front nose section up to this point right here. So we're going to stop right there with those quartz blocks. And we're going to go and build each side kind of separately. Now on the left side here, we're going to go and place down a smooth quartz block. We then want to place down a black concrete block, a smooth quartz block, black concrete block, and a smooth quartz block. Coming off that smooth quartz block in the center between the black concrete, we're going to place down a... Uh, a trip bar hook just like that. Now over here on the right side, a little bit different, we're going to place down a smooth quartz block followed by a row of one and two smooth quartz stairs like so. And we're going to then place down a smooth quartz block. So as you'll see here that on the two sides here, they are basically different from each other. This side we have the door, this side we just have some extra windows. One thing also I want to mention is if you do not plan on doing an interior for this aircraft, I do recommend taking black stained glass and putting it behind the stairs to kind of close that space off and make them look a little bit more like their windows. Again, completely up to you guys though. Um, after that, we're going to then go, this is going to go ahead and apply to both sides now. We're going to place down two quartz stairs back, a quartz full block, a quartz stair. Uh, we're going to then place down a polished black stone stair. And real quickly, also, this first stair right here on the right side, so the stair right here is actually going to be a polished black stone stair as well. Um, anyways, once we get done with that, we're going to go back from the stair with another stair, uh, a quartz full block back, two smooth quartz stairs, a row of two, a smooth two of smooth quartz blocks, and then we're going to place down two smooth quartz stairs like this. Now, that's going to be the same thing there on both sides, behind the stairs again, if you're not doing an interior for the build. We'll go ahead and just completely fill this in, or fill the sides in with some stained glass. That's going to kind of close this area off and kind of make them look a little bit more windows there from the side of the aircraft. Now, when you get to this point over here, we do have a difference in our two sides here again. So, going over here to the left side, uh, after this quartz stair, we're going to place down a black concrete block, two smooth quartz blocks, and then a narrow black concrete block. However, over here on the right side, we're just going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, and four smooth quartz blocks back like that. Anyways, after that, we're going to go ahead and start working on both sides again. Uh, both sides are going to be the same again, so we're going to place down one, two, three, and four diorite walls back along the side here. And on the inside here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five smooth quartz blocks. After that, we're going to place down an additional smooth quartz block that sticks out uh, like that, followed by a quartz ups down stair, quartz top slab and then an iron trap door. In the center here, between our quartz stair and top slab, we're going to place down two smooth quartz full blocks, and then two smooth quartz top slabs, coming off those blocks like that for the rear there, for the center line. 
And once we have that done, we pretty much have the fuselage done for the aircraft. Here's what it should look like from up above. Give you some side angles. So this is from the right side. And an angle over here from the left side. So it should look something like this. And we also have uh, basically part of our engine, which is going to kind of start to come into play here. And to build our engine here, we're going to go to the second window right here. Or the second stair. And we're going to go ahead and count out six blocks to the side. So over here, it's actually going to be our fourth window. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to count out one, two, three, four, five, six. Now once we get to the sixth block, we're going to then place our iron trap door coming off of it. A second iron trap door back. Two smooth quartz top slabs. And two iron trap doors back. We can go and then delete these placeholder blocks as they are not going to be needed anymore. After that's all done, we have basically the basis for our engine started and also everything done for the fuselage for this layer. That right there is going to conclude layer four, and with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number five. All right, guys, so moving into our next layer here, we have layer number uh, five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started with here, we want to go ahead and take our black stained glass. We're going to place down a black stained glass full block going up from this quartz block back and up. And we're going to go and place down a virtual button coming off the front there of that glass block. We're going to then place down two black stained glass blocks back from it. After that's done, go ahead and go into the rear here. We're going to place down a smooth quartz block on top of this quartz top slab here on the rear, followed by one and two more quartz blocks that go back, two quartz top slabs, and then right there is going to do it for the rear center line. We're going to go ahead and now work our way out to the side, starting with the front. We're going to place down a black stained glass pane coming off the first block here, then two blocks back of black stained glass. Coming off the second uh, black stained glass block, we're going to go ahead and place down a um, black stained glass pane. And then we're going to place down a red concrete block on both sides here. This is going to have an item frame, and in the item frame we want to go ahead and place down a yellow die piece, which can be rotated around to face that direction. Or, yeah. Nope. It can be rotated around to be like that. So you want it kind of like this. Same thing over there for like the squadron uh, logo that does operate this aircraft. Anyways, once that's done, we do have a difference here in obviously our two sides. Over here on the left side, after that red concrete block, we're going to place down a black concrete block, a quartz block, and then another black concrete block. So kind of, again, continuing to build that door on the left side. Over here on the right side, however, we're going to place down a smooth quartz block, a polished black stone upside down stair, and then a smooth quartz upside down stair like that for the windows there on the side. We're going to go ahead and then, uh, this, both sides are now going to be the same. Again, we're going to place down a smooth quartz block, a upside down stair on top of the stair, another upside down stair, smooth quartz block, upside down stair, upside down polished black stone stair, upside down smooth quartz stair, uh, smooth quartz full block, and then two smooth quartz upside down stairs, two smooth quartz full blocks, and then we're going to flip our direction here and place down two smooth quartz upside down stairs like that for the back there. We're going to then take our black stained glass, and we just want to go ahead and place our black stained glass behind our windows here on both sides to close this area off as we are not doing it interior. So we'll just go ahead and kind of make it look like it's glassed over uh, and everything like that. Um, so that's going to be fine there. Also for the cockpit here, if you do want to kind of close this area off since you won't have, if you don't have an interior, we can go ahead and take black concrete, just kind of fill that space in there, this space across and this space across here. So it kind of closes it off, kind of blackens it out a little bit better. Um, so you don't have just some void there in the aircraft. Uh, but again, up to you guys. Uh, once we get to this point here, we do have a difference in our two sides again. So to begin with, we're over here on the left side, we're going to place down a black concrete block, two smooth quartz blocks, a polished black stone wall, and then a smooth quartz block behind the, the uh, black stone wall. Over here on the right side, it's going to be one, two, three smooth quartz full blocks, followed by a diorite wall, and we're going to then place down a smooth quartz block on the inside here of this diorite wall. Now, once we get to this point, we're going to then go from our walls here to the, along the sides. One, two, three, four, and five. So you have a row of six here. And on the insides here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Smooth quartz blocks back, followed by two direct walls at the end of that row. We also want to go ahead and go to our, let, our right side here. And we want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull come off the side of this wall, followed by a second skeleton skull come off this one and then a third off this smooth quartz block. And that's gonna be on the right side and the right side only of the aircraft. At this point right here, uh, we're gonna then move into our engines. So our engines here, fortunately, are the same on both sides. So that makes it kind of easy for us. Now, to go ahead and get started with this, we wanna go ahead and place down a black stone stair, which is gonna go on top of this iron trap door here in the front. And then both sides of the stair, we're gonna place down a skeleton skull. 
From this, we're going to take our smooth quartz blocks. We're going to place down one, two, and three. Blocks back, along with one, two, and three. Direct walls, and one, two, and three. Direct walls. Now we get to this point here, we're going to place down a black concrete block, and then a polished andesite stair. Next to that block, like so. And one thing to note here is that for both engines, you want that block facing toward, or you want that stair on the left side of the, of the engine. So you can see here, the left side of the engine, and over here on the left side of the engine. So this side of the, this left engine is going to be on the outside, and on this right engine it's going to be on the inside toward the uh, aircraft. So just kind of make sure you take that into account when you build those two engines. Not a huge deal if you don't do it, but just kind of a little accuracy thing. We then want to place down a direct wall here. After that, we're going to place down a nice smooth quartz block right here, followed by a direct wall to both sides. And then going back from that middle block, we're going to place down a nice smooth quartz block. And we're going to go ahead and place down a second one like this. A skeleton skull to both sides of this middle block here. And we're going to then place down two smooth quartz top slabs, followed by an iron trap door. And that will pretty much complete your engine. You're going to go and take that same design and put it on both sides there, and you'll have both en your engines done. Here's an overview of what it should look like from up above here. Uh, do pay close attention to the differences there on the sides. Um, so the left side here is what it looks like so far. And then on the right side this is what it looks like also at this point. One thing I'm also going to show you guys here is how to uh, make this little uh, emblem here. Uh, which involves the star and those banners so we'll go ahead and uh, move into actually making that banner all right guys so we're going ahead and move it into making these banners to begin with we're going to go ahead and take a loom we're going to place down our loom and we want to go ahead and grab four white dye five white dye one red dye and two white banners for our first banner here we're going to go ahead and start off by making our stripes we're going to place down a white banner in our loom and we're going to go ahead and then take our blue dye and we want to go and do the brick pattern of blue dye after that's done, we want to go ahead and then place our banner back into our loom. We're going to take our red dye and we're going to go and do a line across the center here with our red dye. After that's done, we're going to then take our white dye and we want to go and do the line across the top and then the line across the bottom here. And that right there is going to make these two banners here, which are basically the stripes there, as you can see. Now to go ahead and move into the star banner. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into making our star. For our star here, uh, we will also need to grab the banner pattern um, that is the flower charge. We're going to start off by putting a white banner into our loom, our blue dye, and we're going to do a line across the center. We then want to go ahead and put our banner back in. We're going to put our white dye in and then our pattern here, and we're going to go and do a design that looks like this here. After we have that done, we want to go ahead and put our banner back into the loom, and we're going to then put our blue in, and we're going to do a line across the top here. After that's complete, uh, we're going to go ahead and then uh, take our white dye here and we want to go ahead and then do the kind of triangle there, or not triangle but the diamond in there and we're going to put, take that banner put that in there and then we're going to take our blue dye and we then want to go ahead and do the kind of triangle that goes there through the center. After that's done we're going to take our blue dye and the last thing we need to do here is to go ahead and do the line across the bottom here a blue dye just like that. And right there is going to create this star shaped banner and that's going to basically do it for these two banner designs that we'll need. These banners here are going to go ahead and go to the side. We're going to place down a banner here, banner here, and like that. And it will be the same thing over here. So it'll be on this wall here, this wall, and that. So just like that for both sides there and that's pretty much all you need to do. Anyways that right there is going to do it for layer number five and with that let's move into layer number six. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into layer number 6. For layer 6 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to start with placing down a birch wood button on top of this black stained glass block here. We then want to place down a quartz slab back from it, and then we're going to place down a long row of smooth quartz full blocks, which in total is going to be 35 blocks long, going down all the way down the spine of the aircraft. We then want to go ahead and place down a smooth quartz slab here on the very end. After that, moving back up to the front and to the sides, we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull at a slight angle like that, next to the slab followed by a smooth quartz slab back, a smooth quartz stair, and we're going to then take our smooth quartz blocks and we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, smooth quartz blocks back, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, smooth quartz stairs, and 1, 2, 3, and 4, direct walls. After that's done, going ahead and going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a white carpet on top of this red concrete block, 
After this, on the left side, we're going to go back with three Dark Goku trapdoors. However, over here on the right side, we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three iron trapdoors. So there is a difference there on both sides. Make sure you take those into account. From this point here, we're going to place down a narrow daylight detector. Turn this to night mode. And after that, we're going to place down a smooth quartz slab, a smooth quartz stair. And then we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine smooth quartz blocks back. A smooth quartz stair, a smooth quartz slab, and then over here on the left side it's going to be a row of four of dark oak with trapdoors. Over here on the right side it's going to be one, two, and I believe only two iron trapdoors, if I remember correctly. Yep, it's only going to be two iron trapdoors over here on the right side. However, the left side we're going to go and place down a row of four of dark oak with trapdoors. After we get to this point here, we're going to start focusing our attention here to the wings. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and go into this second smooth quartz block here to the side. We're going to place down a dark oak with trapdoor. And we then want to go ahead and follow this up by placing down a row of two of smooth quartz top slabs and then two iron, or sorry, row of three of smooth quartz top slabs and then two iron trap doors. We're going to go ahead and repeat this same row four more times. So we're going to go out one, two, three, and four. Dark oak with trap doors, two, three quartz, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. And then our iron trap doors again going to go out. So we should have five rows here of the same thing going out to the side. Once we get to this point here, we're going to go, ahead and go to our smooth quartz uh, top slabs. And on the ends of these, we're going to, go ahead and place down smooth quartz full blocks coming off those top slabs. After we have that done, we're going to then take our direct walls and we're going to place down one, two, three direct walls going forward. And then we're going to place down one and two direct walls going toward the rear. In the center here, we're going to place down two smooth, or sorry, three smooth quartz blocks next to those direct walls. We're going to go ahead and place down one more that sticks out toward the front here, and then an additional direct wall there on the very front tip. After that, to the sides here, we're going to place down one, two, and three smooth quartz walls on the side there. This section right here, we're going to go ahead and take our smooth quartz. We're just going to, go ahead and place down one, two out, one, two, one, two. So we fill that space in. We're going to, go ahead and place down two blocks down the middle here, two direct walls on this side here, and then down the center here again, we're going to place down another smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stair, smooth quartz slab. And then taking our skeleton schools, we want to go ahead and run one and two skeleton schools on the sides of those stairs and full blocks just like that. After that's all done there, we want to go and then take our dark oak trapdoors and go into the side of this wall here. We're going to place down a dark oak trapdoor, followed by a row of one, two, and three spoof quartz top slabs. And then we're going to go and place down a row of two of iron trapdoors after those slabs. Once we have that done, we're going to place down a narrow dark oak with trap door here in the front, followed by an iron trap door, a smooth quartz slab, and then we're going to do a row of three of iron trap doors back. So one, two, three, back like that. Next row here, a narrow dark oak with trap door, followed by a row of four of iron trap doors. So one, two, three, four. After that, uh, we want to go and then go to the side here. We're going to place down an iron trap door coming off this one, followed by two more backs. So you have a row of three here. We're going to go ahead and take our smooth quartz top slabs and we're going to do a row of three of those top slabs back. And then lastly to the side here, we're going to go off these last two iron trapdoors here and place down two iron trapdoors out to the side like so. And that right there is going to basically do it for what we have for our wings here for this layer. And you're going to take the same design for the wings and flip it over to the air side. Do take note of the difference in the trapdoors here between the two sides, the left and right side. Um, not something super important, but just something to be very mindful of um, when building this. Here's an aerial view of what this will look like with this layer complete. And with that, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number six for the build. With that, let's move into layer number seven. All right, guys, moving into our next layer here, we have layer number seven. For layer seven, go ahead and get started with here. We want to go ahead and go to our center line. We're going to count back one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And to our eighth smooth quartz block back, we're going to place down an iron trap door on top of it, followed by a daylight detector, two smooth quartz slabs, a daylight detector here and make sure the daylight detectors all of these are going to be turned to night mode we're going to then place down two levels of snow so one two then one two three four five smooth quartz slabs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen smooth quartz full blocks and a direct wall here on the very end after that's done we want to go ahead and go to the sides here and this is going to be a little bit different so on the left side here we're going to go to our second to last Quartz block, we're going to place down a stone button. We're going to go and then skip two spaces forward and we're going to place down a polished black stone button. However, over here on the left side, we're just going to go ahead and go to our second to last, or sorry, the right side, we're going to go to our second to last block and place down a polished black stone button. 
and it's going to be different there on both sides so just bear with me and once we come back to that I'll explain it um, in the next layer why we're doing that. Anyways after that's done uh, we want to go ahead and then start working our way out to the sides here. We're going to go back up to this iron trap door here in the center and place down a daylight detector turn it to night mode and then place down an iron trap door going forward from it. We're going to go then place down one two three smooth quartz blocks back a daylight detector turn it to night mode and then uh, two levels of snow going back. Uh, or sorry, we're going to do one, two level of snow and then one, just one level. After that, out to the sides here, we're going to place down two levels of snow here. And we want to go ahead and then place down a row of one and two quartz slabs, a daylight detector, turn that to night mode. And we're going to then place down two levels of snow here. And then one snow block, or one snow level right there. After that's done, out to the sides here, we're going to take our dark oak with trap doors. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five like that. We then want to go and take our smooth quartz and we're going to go back one two. Daylight detector, turn that to night mode. Two snow le levels and then one snow level like that. So it's going to be on this side here and we're going to we're going to, yeah, we're going to go ahead and repeat this same row four more times. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. It's the same row we're doing here just four more times out to the side. So just like that. And once we have that done, we get to our engine section. So for our engine here, to go ahead and get started, we're going to go ahead and place down a daylight detector on top of the second block from front, turn it to night mode, and place the second one behind it, also turn that to night mode. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five smooth cord slabs, a narrow daylight detector, turn that to night mode as well. Once we have that done on the inside here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a daylight detector next to this trap door, and we're going to go ahead and make sure we turn that to night mode. We then want to place down a row of one and two of quartz slabs back, followed by a row of two of daylight detectors, again turn to night mode, and then an iron trap door here on that wall. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing over here to this side. So a daylight detector here, turn it to night mode, two smooth quartz slabs back, two daylight detectors, turn to night mode, and then a iron trap door like that. Once we have that done, we want to go ahead and then place down a polished blackstone slab next to this daylight detector. And after that, we're going to place down a narrow smooth quartz slab. We're going to place down actually a total of three smooth quartz slabs back. We're going to then place down a daylight detector, turn it to night mode, and then a iron, or sorry, actually a snow piece here at the end, which is going to be two levels of snow, like that. After we have that done, uh, we're going to grab our polished blackstone stairs. We're going to place down a polished blackstone stair on the side here. Then going back from the stair, we want to go ahead and place down a smooth quartz full block so like that and also this uh, slab right here is actually going to be a full block so we're going to make these two smooth quartz full blocks um, anyways after that point right there we're going to then take our smooth quartz slabs and we're going to go back with a row of four from the stair so one two three four to the back there with our slabs next row here we're going to place down a narrow polished blackstone stair in the front followed by two smooth quartz blocks back and then a narrow row of three of quartz slabs Next row here, we're going to place down a polished blackstone stair, another row of three of slabs going back, and then two quartz slabs after that. Next row here, a polished blackstone stair on the front here, a row of one, two, three, and four smooth quartz full blocks, and then a quartz slab there on the very end. Once we get to this section here, we're going to place down a polished insight, or sorry, a polished blackstone full block here, and we're going to then take our smooth quartz blocks and we're going to place down one, two, and three uh, blocks back like that. After we get to this point, we're going to place down another polished blackstone top slab followed by one, two, and three quartz top slabs. When we get to this section here, we're going to place down a narrow polished blackstone top slab, a smooth quartz top slab, smooth quartz full block, second smooth quartz block, and a smooth quartz uh, slab. That's going to be coming off that last block like that. Once we get to this point, we want to go ahead and then place down another uh, polished uh, blackstone top slab to the side there. And we're just going to go ahead and go back three quartz top slabs. So one, two, three. And same thing over here one more time, polished blackstone top slab and one, two, three back. Now at this point here, uh, we're going to go ahead and take our quartz top slabs. We want to go and do a row of two. So one, two, and then one, two like this and then two iron trapdoors on the back section like that. 
And we want to go then do two more rows of three of iron trapdoors. So one and two rows of three like that. And that right there is going to basically do it for the wings here for this layer. You're going to take what we did on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and you'll be pretty much good to go for this layer. That right there is going to complete layer number seven for the build. And uh, with that, we'll go ahead and move into layer number eight. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving into our next layer here, we have layer number uh, eight. So for layer eight, to go ahead and get started with here, we'll be going ahead and go into our center line. And we're going to start off by going to the back here. It's a little bit easier for us to start. We're going to go to the top of this direct wall, and we're going to place down a smooth quartz full block. We're going to then go one, two, three, four, and five blocks forward. So you have a row of six here of quartz full blocks. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five smooth quartz slabs coming off those blocks like so. On the back here for the tail, um, on the uh, left side and right side, we're going to go to the second to last block here and we'll place down a stone button on both sides. Now, let me talk about what I was talking about earlier. So over here on the right side of the tail, we're going to place down a polished black stone button above this one. And we do want to go ahead and also grab some number banners. Now, this is a three digit number pattern. You can go and do whatever numbers you guys want. Uh, you can look at the pictures of for the actual aircraft that operates out of Tyndall Air Force Base, or you can go ahead and uh, make up your own numbers. I just went ahead and went with 101. Super simple. Um, but one thing that's done with aircraft tail numbers for the Air Force is that they have the three digits here. That's usually the aircraft number. And then there's two numbers right here, which typically is the year the aircraft was manufactured. So um, there's usually uh, the little kind of numbers that are located right here. Uh, and that right there kind of tells you the year it was made. Um, and it's kind of part of the total tail number, but the real numbers you focus in on this one, because that's how you really tell them apart. Um, so that's what is over here. So we read the numbers left to right. So that's why we have the two buttons here. Over here on the left side, it's going to be the two polished black stone buttons here, and then the three number banners like that. So um, whatever you choose there, it's going to be like that on either side. They're kind of reflected from each other. Uh, but anyways, once we have that all complete, we're going to go ahead and then move into our wings here. So our wings here, we do have a bit of an interesting design here going on with some carpet and snow. To get started with, we're going to go ahead and go to this section here, and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three white carpet. We then want to go ahead and go down from this one, then over one white carpet. We're going to go then place down one, two, three, one level pieces of snow, and then one, two, three, four, and five, two level pieces of snow. Going back from this, we're going to go and drop down with a white carpet. We're going to then go over one, two, and we want to go then place down a row of one, two, and three, one level uh, of uh, snow, and then we want to go and place down two, or uh, basically three levels of uh, snow like that. And after that's all done there, uh, we actually do want to extend uh, the wings out by one more. So our iron trapdoors here, we're actually going to go ahead and bring out one more. So a narrow row of three out to the side here. This right here is going to be a level two of snow and a level two of snow right there as well. So do make sure you do the same thing to the air side. You uh, transfer over that extra level that I forgot to do. Anyways, once we get to this point here, uh, we're going to go ahead and take our carpet. We're going to go ahead and go back from this spot right here, white carpet. One, two, three, over. One, two, three, one level snow. And then one, two, three, uh, two level pieces of snow like that for the wings. And that right there is going to basically apply to both wings there. And once you have that all done there, that is going to pretty much wrap up the uh, the wings for the aircraft. And uh, with that, we'll pretty much start moving into our tail here. At this point, we really, we really only have the vertical and the horizontal sleepers left to go so we'll probably just move into our final layer, layers from here on out and finish the in-flight version for this uh, aircraft so with that let's go ahead and move into our final layers all right guys moving into our final layers we have layers 9 through 16 these layers right here are going to basically just cover doing the vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizers for the uh, aircraft so let's go ahead and jump into it um start off with we're going to be going ahead and going back here to the tail we're going to go to our second smooth quartz block here and we're going to place down a direct wall and then going back from it, we're going to place down one, two, three, four smooth quartz blocks back. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone button, which is going to be right above this one on both sides here like that. After that's done, we're going to then go up with a polished black stone slab or full block here, polished black stone wall. And then we're going to place down two smooth quartz blocks, two smooth quartz blocks here, and another two smooth quartz blocks here. Now from the previous uh, layer here, we want to go and place down a direct wall followed by two smooth quartz blocks up, and we're also going to place down a narrow direct wall on the back there of that. So we get something that looks like this here for the side. At this point right here, uh, we're going to also take stone buttons, and we're going to go over and place down two stone buttons on those two blocks there. Again, don't forget your stone buttons on the other side here as well. 
uh, we will be applying them to both sides. At this point here, you can also put your unit, um, basically base identifier. So for us, we have just LA here. Um, those are just two banners I had on hand. If you do want to do the actual aircraft from Tyndall Air Force Base, you want to do a TD. Um, and it's using a white banner with a black lettering. Um, but we're going to do the same thing here on both sides. And you can make it whatever letters you guys really want. It doesn't really matter. That's just basically is the two letter code for whatever base the aircraft is uh, stationed at. After that, we're going to then place down our polished black stone slab that, or full block that goes up. Then we're going to go, and go back one, two, three, and four. Smooth quartz blocks. With stone blend on both sides of the second to last one. Next row up, polished uh, black stone wall here. Then one, two, three, and four. Smooth quartz blocks back with a direct wall here on the end. And we also want to place down a stone bun that goes up from this block here to both sides. Once we get to this point here, we're going to then take a red concrete. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five red concrete blocks across the top here. This right here is the tail flash. Um, so usually every base has their own kind of tail flash or squadron, uh, really, which helps kind of identify it to what squadron it belongs to. Uh, the one for this aircraft is red, so you can... Um, do a red line here or if you want to have it stationed out your own bases and everything like that you can do whatever you guys want for that but just know it's just a solid line of color here basically just for uh, identifying the squadron this aircraft belongs to from this point here we also want to go and place a stone button on both sides of this second to last block here on both ends going ahead and continuing up we're going to place down a polished black stone wall like that we're going to then place down one two three smooth quartz blocks back and a smooth quartz slab on the end here like so. Then on the very top here, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some snow pieces. And we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, and then one, two, like that, for our top there for the tail. Now at this point right here, we're going to start moving into doing our um, horizontal stabilizers. So our vertical stabilizer is done, and really all we have left here to do is this um, horizontal one. So it isn't anything too difficult um, to go ahead and get started with. We're going to, go and to take our polished blackstone. And we want to go and do a row of five, come off this quartz full block. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five with smooth quartz top slabs directly behind it. After that, come off the smooth quartz top slabs, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four uh, polished blackstone top slabs and a wither skeleton skull on the side of the last one. We then want to take our iron trap doors. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine iron trap doors across the back there. And after we have that done, we're going to also uh, take our black carpet, place down one, two, three, four, five across the top here. One, two, three, four. So on top of our polished black stone slabs, and then we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, uh, one level uh, piece of snow. And then on the very back here for the flaps, uh, we're going to place down, actually, this is going to be a row of four of snow, and then a white carpet, and we're just going to place down white carpet here all the way across, like that, for the horizontal stabilizer. And we're just going to do the same thing over here. So one, two, three, four, five. Black carpet on top. Then our quartz top slabs. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to place snow on the tops of the first four, and then a white carpet. And then one, two, three, four. Polished black stone top slabs. Four black carpet. And a weird skeleton skull like that on the tip there. And then our iron trap doors. We're just going to place down a row of iron trap doors all the way across this back here. And white carpet on top there. And once you have that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap it up for the in-flight version here for the E9A. Uh, Actually, one last thing I also want to mention is the props themselves. So uh, this is a prop-driven aircraft, so we do have props to build. These prop designs are super simple. All we're going to do is go ahead and go to our, obviously, our turboprop engines here. We're going to place down two, or sorry, three polished blackstone walls going up, and then a sandstone wall on the tip there. And then going downwards, we're going to go ahead and place down three as well, and a wall. To the sides here, same thing three walls, polished blackstone, and then one sandstone wall. Same thing over here. And same thing for this engine here. So again, nothing too complex or crazy. Pretty simple uh, prop design. And that right there is going to basically do it for those. So that'll be both our engines there. And with that, that's going to complete our in-flight version here for the E9A uh, widget and with that we're going to move into building the landing version which is going to be putting the landing gear onto this model so with that let's move into the landing gear all right guys so we're going ahead and move into uh, our landing gear to start with our landing gear we're going to focus on the front wheel first for this we're going to go, ahead and go down to this section here and we're going to break this quartz full block and this one right here so our second and third from the front one here 
We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick wall up in this location here. And we're going to go ahead and drop down from that stone brick wall with a stone brick stair. Going back from the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a polished anzite top slab like so. A black or a block of coal to both sides of that top slab. And a white banner to come off the side of that block of coal like that for the wheel there. After that's done, we're going to then place down a lever on top of this polished anzite top slab. And after we have that done, we then want to go and take our smooth quartz stairs. And we want to go and then place down uh, smooth quartz stairs upside down here to the sides. And we're going to do the same thing over here as well. And once we have that all done there, that is going to basically complete our front landing gear. Um, the banners here that we designed, it's just a white banner with a black border, black line for the center there. Pretty straightforward. I don't think I can need to go show, go through showing you guys how to make that exactly. Um, but that right there is going to do it for the front wheel. And let's go ahead and move into the rear ones. Alright guys, and moving into our last set of gear, we'll be moving into the rear wheels. Now the rear wheels here are pretty simple. A um, little bit more complex than that right there, but still really easy to do. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and go into this section here. We're going to go to the second quart slab and we're going to break it along with the two iron trap doors behind it. We then want to break the quartz full block here, the black concrete and the quartz full block in that space right there, just kind of completely breaking that area open. In this section, we're going to place down a stone brick wall that comes down like this, followed by one, two, and three diorite walls. And we're going to then place down an end rod on the bottom here, followed by a polished anzite top slab, like so. After that's done, this space right here, we're going to place down two polished black stone uh, slabs, just like that, or top slabs. Uh, come off this slab here, we're going to place down a quartz stair like so come off the bottom of the stair we're gonna place down an upside down stair like that going back and then come off this stair here we're gonna place down a stair like that and then an air upside down stair of smooth quartz coming off like that for the kind of uh supporting arm there for the wheel we then want to go ahead and take our block of coal and we're gonna place down a block of coal on both sides of this top slam followed by a white banner on the sides of those blocks of coal and after that's all complete there that is going to pretty much wrap up what we have there for the gear um, and you're going to take the same design and just copy it over to the air side and once you do, you'll pretty much have this aircraft complete. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for my design here for the E9A widget. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put it to good use. If you do not use this build, I do ask you guys give me proper credit for the build. This could be anything from a silent build to my channel or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use the project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Faz FPS for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. With that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 204, and I'll see you guys next time.